Congratulations, you bought a baritone ukulele. Now what? Well, before you start to tune it, right when it comes out of the box, when the strings are still totally new and haven't been tuned at all, I want you to take your fingers and stick them in between the strings at the sound hole and just roughly spread them apart to give them a little bit of pliability when you go to tune it. It's important to do this, otherwise you're gonna find yourself tuning your ukulele all the time, every time you play it. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to, after you've stretched the strings, I want you to make sure that they're in each one of their grooves, both down here and up here at the nut. If they're not in their grooves, then when you go to tighten them, they're gonna have a different pitch than when they get back into their grooves later, so you don't wanna make that mistake. Knowing that they're in their grooves in each one of those places, it's time to tune. You're gonna first of all find the fattest string, the one that's closest to you when you're holding your ukulele with your left hand on the neck and your right hand doing the strumming. The first pitch you're gonna find is D. There's a D, here's a D. With that D, you're gonna try to make this string match that same sound. All you do is you just twist and twist and twist and twist and twist until you hear the same. Almost there. There's the same note. Our next sound is gonna be a G. So the second string from the top when holding it in your left hand is a G. 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 E. You'll know you have this right when you can hear Amazing Grace. I don't have it quite right. Or here comes the bride. Either one of those will work for finding that interval between those two strings. Another thing you can do is you can go up to the fifth fret of your ukulele on the first string and it should make the same sound as the second string with no frets. Once again, find the fifth fret on the first string. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to make that sound by plucking just that string, and it should make the same sound as the second string with no frets. Bum and bum. The next sound you're gonna find is B. Here's a B. B, B. That's gonna give you the third string. B, B. That should sound the same as the fourth fret on this string. It's not quite the same, so that means I need to do a little bit more tuning. Hey, there I got it. The last one you're gonna find is the note E. Here's an E. E. Now if you've over tightened, it's possible you could break a string or even the entire ukulele. So if you need more help, don't feel like you can't ask me to do it. Just send it to school and I'll take care of it. Thank you and congratulations on your new ukulele.